My mama asking me if this rice porch is good Well, strictly salt I look at her seeing her struggling face And said, mom, this is the best plate Still hungry when I go to bed I rest my head Asking my mom why we so poor And why we buy clothes at the second hand store While she up in the morning sewing just to make ends meet I went to school with painless shoes on my feet Economic problems has been rooted for Cambodia since the year 1975 after the communist group known as the Khmer Rouge came into power. Everything in Cambodia changed. This group eliminated the country's economic infrastructure and social institutions by abolishing money, schools, and private property. People were forced into labor camps and paid nothing. Because of this, many Cambodians fled to different countries. When these immigrants finally made it to the new this new country, they had to adjust and survive. But unable to speak English, lacking suitable qualifications and appropriate occupation backgrounds, many had to work in manual and processing jobs. Several Cambodians took up sewing. An account by interview number three recalls seeing his mother sew all the time while growing up. She would stay up day and night trying to make enough to feed her family. Another common job was auto mechanics. Interview number three recalls his whole family working in an auto shop. As a family, they would fix cars and make money. Cambodian immigrants have struggled through many economic hardships since the late 70s. Many have upgraded from the lower job status such as sewing and auto mechanics to donut shop owners, cell phone store managers, and even 99 cent store owners. This is a great upgrade to many because of how low status they were before and now they are owners and managers. Cambodians have come a long way, yet they still have not reached the potential as other Asian communities because they migrated so late. Their education and status is not so great, yet they are grouped together stereotypically with other Asian communities. This is called model minority. No one really sees that Cambodians are not really doctors or scientists like the Japanese or Chinese, but donut shop owners. They are overlooked because they are Asian. Cambodians just need time to establish themselves and rise in the ladder to success. So what can I do? So I wish I was hard to survive Cause society lied to me about poverty And how much life offers me Language barriers are all too prevalent among Cambodian immigrants. These barriers also lead to discrimination in education and employment. Discrimination towards Cambodian immigrants is all too realistic in the educational world. Our first interviewee tells us a story about a show and tell day where she was asked to bring food for the class. She brought a bag full of Asian chips to share with the class and gave them to the teacher. Later on in the day, the teacher gave the student the, the chips back, saying that she would not feed these to the rest of the students. This was all too much of discrimination towards Cambodian immigrants. Language barriers are also relevant between Cambodian immigrants and teachers. Interviewee 1 tells us, tells us how she used to be afraid to ask teachers for help due to language differences. She felt that not being able to relate to the teachers by language made her feel dumb and afraid to ask for help. Discrimination also came from other students on the playground and growing up. Other children made fun of these immigrants due to different names, making them wish they had more Americanized names. Language barriers also lead to discrimination in the professional world. It has been proven through studies that people with accents are less likely to be hired for a job which is very true among Cambodian people who have strong accents. It is also proven that people with un-American names are also less likely to receive jobs over people with American names. This is way too prevalent in the world of Cambodian immigrants. As it states in language standards, ethnicity, and discrimination, failure to meet the dominant language is more than a communicative breakdown. It's a failure to meet the duties of a citizen, which is very discriminatory towards Cambodians and their accents. Employers also see Asians as a model minority and that they will be able to do fine in the workplace. Although Southeast Asians, which include Cambodians, are not always as fortunate in this area. Since Cambodians have only been in the U.S. since the mid-70s, 
They have not had the full opportunity to assimilate to American life and establish themselves in the workplace, which in turn is discriminatory towards Cambodians by classifying them as just another Asian.